man, we done came out of Port Dover to, to the gas station for a gas stop. And I really noticed it, man, like a lot of these parts I'm probably not even going to use, man. And also the truck that I'm putting these uh, parts on, as y'all know, is a 2020. These parts come off of a 2000. I don't what is that? Oh, this truck only a 09, but it's the classic model, so I can actually use parts off this truck for my 2020. But anyways, man, we for, we for sure should get everything done. We got like two people in the comments saying, man, that truck ain't going to never run again. You got bad frame damage, sell the motor, and do this and do that. And man, look, watch how magic happened, man. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all black excellence. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all some. But anyways, in my last video, in my last video I did try to get, when we was at the junkyard, I mean, well, when I was at the, uh, the impound, I was getting the truck out of the impound. I was trying to see how many miles it was. Check it out. The battery was loose. That's the reason I couldn't find out how many miles on it, but I did get it home. Put the, uh, fixed all that, got everything tightened up. Guess what, man? That truck has 22,000 miles on it. 22,000 miles on it, man. So yeah, man, let me finish showing y'all how this works. Let me show y'all how I get out. Let me go ahead and get this stuff loaded up. It's not, everything's not gonna fit in my garage, but I'm hoping, me and my cousin here who's helping me out today recording for me, man, I'm hoping he can help me get, uh, get the, um, at least the front clip in the garage. I can put that on the side of my house because my plan is to fix the front end, bag, drive the truck out, and then bag it in and then put the bed on. You know what I'm saying? That's the plan. So as long as we can get the front end going, going in uh in the garage, we should be good. Come on, man, but I ain't gonna talk y'all here all man. Let's let's get to work, man. Two seconds. Yeah, yeah. So I couldn't uh I just bought the whole truck. We just broke it down in pieces, but I bought the whole truck. No free tools? Oh. <laughs> hey, my friend, let me do it. Now they loading up the bed of the truck, man. Hey, cuz, you think we're gonna be able to lift this one for me? Just me and you? Please help, cuz. See what you say? Oh, we got some help there, homie. She asked him how much you want to sell this fork with, bro. We take that one. that, homie. Oh man, it's a scary part, man. You gotta hope this bed don't fall on this trailer. <laughs> Perfect fit. Perfect fit. Mahalo. Fit. Hey man, you think I need to strap this down? You think it's gonna be able to too heavy or no? You say strap it. Safety first, y'all. Don't never listen to me. Yeah, man. Whenever you whenever you go to a junkyard or something, man, and you need parts, man, don't waste time, man. Just buy the whole truck. Just buy the whole truck. <laughs> We're not gonna use probably 90% of these parts in here, but we got them just in case. My boy, you got the job well done. Job well done. Come on, man. You know, we buy the whole suspension and everything. We go buy everything.
So I do want to apologize to y'all, man. I kind of lied to y'all in my last video when I said that that was the last time me recording with my phone because this the beginning of this video was actually pre-recorded with my iPhone already, but we are on the Sony right now. But anyways, man, after a whole lot of heat and a little bit of bending, man, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all an update on the um 2020 Dodge Ram build, man. Especially since I'm since I'm getting a lot of comments saying. Oh man, you ain't gonna be able to rebuild that truck, man. You took an L. Some one guy just commented a couple about 12 hours ago said I took an L when I spent the money, man. But yeah, man, let me just show y'all. And I want to see if y'all still got that same energy. As y'all know, man, as y'all can see, what I did was basically I just used the any and everything I could use off this whole front end, man. A lot of the wiring I used, a lot of the wiring harness, especially for the lights. Thought I was gonna be able to use the um the condenser, but this condenser was not the same since that truck newer and this one older. So I ended up having to order a new condenser. Speaking of that, I got to order a whole lot of parts. Well, I ain't gonna say got to, I already ordered them. I'm waiting on them to come in. So that'll be the next update when I actually got it to where I wanted it. But um, yeah, here go the airbag. This is the airbag for it. I just got to break it down. Once I break it down, take all the symbol out and then I'll fabric dye it. And it'll look just like factory. But anyways, uh, let's keep going. As y'all can see, man, excuse my garage too, it's real dirty right now, but this whole side is completely gone. That's because I used it. And what I did was I broke all the spot welds, took that whole piece off of there. And I'm giving y'all free game. A lot of these body shops don't teach y'all this type of stuff. So pay attention and learn something, man. Learn how to get this money. That's what we finna do. All 2023, man. Speaking of, speaking of all 2023, man, happy new years to y'all, man. Happy new years to the whole 32 game and the OTM gang, man. Everybody that's Riding with Tay, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's like, comment, sharing all my uh videos, everybody that's following me on my social pe social media pro uh social media platforms, it do get crazy. But come on, let's continue with this tour. So as you can see, I got this side in the last video. You can see that uh the bottom control arm was broken. It wasn't no spring, none of that was in place. I mean, it's still not fully together because I'm waiting on a lot of parts to come in. I still got this piece. This piece here is to the um, to the rack of pinion, but the reason I didn't get rid of it, even though I ordered a new one, when you put your new um, tie rods on, you want to count them, count how many times you twist that one off. So that's when you go put your new one on, you twist it back on the same amount of the same amount of times. But you will get a wheel alignment to straighten all that out. But as you can see, yeah, man, everything the control arm is back bolted up i just pretty much got that sitting there because i don't want nothing to break the brake lines the brake line on the other side was broke but i already fixed that and um what else we could talk about over here yeah this i just got this sitting like that because we're gonna put the new control upper control arm on when it come but yeah man it's coming together oh yeah the whole front end whole front clip is basically back together it's basically back together man uh the radiator is in the radiator got fluid in it i made sure there were no leaks we didn't correct a whole lot of stuff in there. As you can see, it's not all smashed up no more. Remember, you couldn't even see none of that. It got a new water pump on, new fan. I got this stuff sitting here because I'm waiting. Like I said, I'm waiting on parts to come in. I'm actually waiting on the new AC lines because this one, the last one got bent up in the accident. So I'm waiting on the AC lines to come in. And, uh, but this was the main side that took all the damage. This was the side that took all the damage. And as you can see, man, that's all the way back together. That's all the way back together. Same thing with this side as far as the uh, waiting on the upper control arms. Got all that sitting there. As you can see, it's a little dark in here, but yeah, man, the brake line is back repaired. Actually just fixed the, uh, this is the, uh, the sensor. The, uh brake sensor or whatever yeah i got that i have to reuse that off the other harness because that got ripped but yeah man uh it's coming together real good it's coming together real good oh yeah let me show y'all something it's stuff like this they don't teach us so i'm gonna teach y'all so i went to oh matter of fact let's uh last time i couldn't do this See how many miles on it? 22,879 miles. But anyway, 
why y'all see the radio out is so I went to check the codes just because I'm waiting on parts. I got my scanner right here. I want to go check the codes just because I'm waiting on parts. I ain't got nothing better to do. And uh, I couldn't get no codes to read. So I did a little research. I jumped in a uh, Dodge Ram forms and uh, come to find out Dodge and put some type of module that pretty much blocks people from reading codes to where you have to go to the dealership to get your codes read. But they got a bypass cord. But you got to take the radio out to plug it up. But they do offer a bypass cord. It's called a Twi Chrysler 12.8. You plug this uh, into the module. Then you plug your scanner into this plug. And it'll let, it, it'll let you read everything. But yeah, man. Um, after, Like I said in the earlier in the video. It's getting a little dark. So I got to speed this video up, man. But... But yeah, man, like I said in the video earlier, man, my plan is to fix the front end, drive it out, and then pull it back in and put the bed on. And then once I got everything corrected, I'm going to go let the body shop finish it up as far as painting and making sure everything lined up perfect, the wheel alignment and everything. But yeah, man, it's, uh, it's getting there. This truck, I will be keeping it. I'm not going to get rid of it because I do need something to pull the toys around. So... This one, we really won't be making a profit off of until we get ready to sell it, which ain't going to be no time soon. But, um, yeah, this one I'm going to keep for me. This is for the OTM gang, the 32 gang toy hauler, man. I wasn't playing when I said that. Speaking of my toys, man, we got that. Don't don't forget we got this uh 430 horsepower twin turbo speedboat sitting right here. It's just waiting on the make. Texas weather is kind of tricky, man. It'll be 70 degrees today, and then you turn around tomorrow to be 14 outside. So I really don't want to go into making over the boat until... Man, um, yeah, I really don't want to go into making over, the, making over the boat just yet because of the weather. And plus, I'm going to match the boat with the truck. So trust y'all. Trust me, y'all. Just keep paying attention, man. Keep staying tuned on what I got going on. I promise y'all, it do get crazy. Okay, bye.